Welcome back, folks. It's Paul Maglev here, and it's time for a nostalgic flashback back to the year 2006? 7? Somewhere between 2007 and 2009? I don't know. But this was an interesting game that was on ArmorGames.com by Hero Interactive. And after watching uh, some Let's Plays of uh, some old games, I felt nostalgic and I wanted to actually go and... Uh, play a game that actually fascinated me. Now, Stormwinds, this is the original version. It still has a lot of uh, missing components essential to any game. Uh, such as a pause function or an exit game function. You literally have to refresh the page if you want to go back to uh, the main menu, which is kind of strange, but then again, it was fairly rudimentary. So, I'll just put my name in here, and we will go on medium, because, sure, why not? We stand now on the brink of the largest invasion our wall has ever known. This fortress is our last thread of hope. We must not let the enemy pass, for if we fail, our only home that lies in the valley beyond us will be destroyed and our memory erased forever. Never lose heart, never give up, never let the enemy forget the might of this mountain! Captain Patterson, 2nd Gunnery Division. Okay, so here's the Stormwinds tutorial, I could care less. And... let's see, I only have enough for one cannon, so let's just get started. I remember growing up, this was actually very frustrating to actually aim it right. But these guys are not very threatening. Uh, at least, not in the slightest. They don't actually do raw damage, so... Or at least that's what I can gather, because they've been flying around this entire stage this whole time and I haven't taken damage yet. Man, this is more annoying than I remember. And, mind you, uh, the first time I actually saw this on ArmorGames.com, it was actually... <laughs> something that I totally rage quit on in like a millisecond because I just didn't want to have to deal with aiming and stuff but I've gotten older my tastes have changed and they came up with sequels that I liked very much uh, the one that I should probably put emphasis on are the Lost Chronicles for Stormwinds because that was like that was my favorites I, I was playing those for like the longest time. Fires a single very powerful armor piercing shot that hits the target instantly. Now although that would be nice I can't afford it at the moment so we will have to go back to our main artillery. Oh they're shooting back. Come on. Gonna get you, you little bugger. Uh, there we go. Just gotta get the hang of it. And it's really awesome because I like the general theme of it. It's unique, and I'm surprised that this game never really made it uh, into more sequels or whatever. Because this is a kind of game that anybody, I think, can enjoy, so long as you have the attention span. And I'm pretty sure when it comes to games, people have a lot of attention span. Unfortunately, not so much for books. I'm sorry, books. It's not that nobody likes you, books. It's just that... Uh, when I tried to look into you, it's not as fascinating as trying to you say, interact with something directly, instead of passively? I don't know. It's hard to explain. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, so close. And 
This should be the last of the wave, I think. I was right! Hmm, do I have anything? Oh, I can actually afford this now. So I'll just put this turret here. Be ready to go. Oh, right, this. I just realized it has the longest loading time. At this rate, I might as well just reload this. Because it takes over a minute. I don't know what it is about this, the sort of thrill of adventure that I get. Uh, it's something that I really can't find in any other game. I think it's the atmosphere, the artistic design. Something I really couldn't initially appreciate, just something that it kind of just grew on me. Missed. Miss and there we go. Gonna get you, stupid drones. Stupid gyrocopters. Well that didn't work. Now I could arguably use machine guns, but there aren't any upgrades so far, at least uh, from what I can gather, which would have been nice, to be quite honest, but I don't think they have it in this version. And I'm not entirely sure how much more I'm actually going to play this, because it's actually a very long game, uh, a very long campaign. Hmm, Flak Cannon. Allows you to fire a normal bullet into the air, which detonates and explodes the shell into smaller shards. Very potent against groups. I think the lightning gun is still better. I'll have to repair this, though. And that doesn't need repair. I don't have enough for this, so I have no choice but to go back to the battlefield. I swear, I feel like a frog eating nets. Not that it's a bad thing. Oh, snap! One thing that importantly uh, note is that some areas of ships that I have to fire on actually are more vulnerable than others. Oh, I thought there'd be a sound effect of it falling to pieces. I guess not. We got this. I I missed. Then I got it. No. No. We gonna get you. Eh. I got you. Nope. Wait for it. That'll do it. I wish this was actually within my cannon's range. Now it is. Because this camera. Uh, this cannon only has a limited range. It doesn't actually turn as much as I'd want it to. Let's see if it does more damage here. Hey, it does more damage here! Oh, no, it's not. Oh, here's a good place where it does a lot of damage. This is the last guy in the wave. I just, I can just tell. There we go. 
Oh, I take that back. I was mistaken. Just gotta shoot in between the balloons and the, uh, and the actual hull of the ship, and I think we should be good. Sweet. All of the guns technically have their trade-offs, whether it be uh, long reload time or uh, projectiles that travel in an arc or projectiles that don't do much of anything. Now, I could get the flat cannon. I'm not sure if that's much of an improvement. It would be really nice to get to that lightning cannon though, but I think that is still a ways away. So I'll just get this cannon and we should be good to go. Oh, it has a long reload time. Dang it. Shoot the balloons! Their airships can only take so much damage! Ba boom a quick wave. Just gotta get the uh, thingamabobs. Did I get it? Nope. That's okay because I can just totally take advantage of the fact that they actually have to come back to uh, the screen from the bottom. Nope, I missed. Uh, eh. There we go. There we go. I'm totally mobilized. The little tiny drone copter things are annoying though. They mainly serve as nothing more than an obstacle for trying to get the bigger airships. So you always try to aim for the airships in their most vulnerable location, which appears at this case to be at the very top. This is the last one. Yay, I did it! This is taking forever. Uh, so let's see, this is next to useless, so we will switch positions. And I think I've got enough gold to get this the lightning gun fires an arc of intense energy instantly at whatever enemy you click on. Then, based on the gun's level, it'll jump from enemy to enemy in a chain format. Yes, I would like to get this. But something tells me that it has a very long cooldown. So I'm afraid the sniper will have to go. Which means I will have to go back to my original strategy, which is to just do this. Just gotta keep firing! Oh, that was awesome! I hope cooldown is one of the things that gets upgraded. I swear these things are so unpredictable. Got it. 
just gotta keep spamming. That should do it. Wow, these are really doing a lot of damage. Let's see... He's coming over... There we go. Now I actually have something to aim at for once. Spam, spam, spam. This commentary is not fascinating. I know I can do this. I just got you spam. Luckily, I won't have to use the lightning cannon uh, too frequently. <laughs> when it does need to get used, it is very convenient. Let's see, drop the cannon down. Bam! There we go. Up, 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 up. That begs the question, how much further does this go before the game ends? Oh, wait a minute, I got more platforms, yay! I'm not entirely sure what to do with that. Damage buffer. Uh, maybe I can stick this here. That sounds like a good idea. And I think I'm ready to go. Oh great, now the, si the sniper turret's actually getting most of the flak. And I forgot to repair my uh, artillery gun. So we are kind of screwed in that department. I'm pretty sure that all of my turrets are down at this point, or they will be in a moment. No, I missed! But that's okay, because I got repairs! I mean, not repairs, uh... Four. Shoot that out of the sky. Yeah, I think this is going to be my last run. Yep, there goes the lightning turret. Uh, the only reliable thing that's left is... Uh, strangely enough, my machine gun, which is going to go down any moment. Urgh, Aiming at shiny things is annoying. No! 
With no offensive tourists, the enemy will destroy us. No! I totally blew an hour on that, but I don't care because now I can go and do something completely different. And by completely different, I mean play another game. So yeah, that's... Uh... That is... Uh, that is the original Stormwinds. Uh, if you could, uh, if you could, uh, ponder it. If you don't really like it, that's okay. I kind of like it. I like the sequels more, but, uh, that's beside the point. The point is, this is an interesting game, and if you want to check it out, you can. I will see you guys next time, and until then, take it easy.